Okay, the next theme that we are going to play with in WordPress.com is called Textbook. And I want to just preview before I jump off to that what my current site looks like. I, I'm certainly, I'm currently um, loaded into a theme called Apostrophe 2. And I've got a few different featured images here. So notice here that my featured images float to the top and all of my other um, images float towards the bottom in chronological order. Um, so let's go play with textbook. I'm going to come over to my editor, I'm going to go down to themes, I'm going to flip over to free, and I'm going to uh, come down and find the theme called textbook, and there it is. Um, and I can click on info and install it that way, or else I can click here and click on activate. And um, I'm going to go ahead and I don't want to do that. I want to go ahead and go back to themes. So immediately I want to reload my content and just take a look and see what that has changed. Notice that my entire page now looks different. And that's what's really fun about WordPress is that your content remains the same. Once you've built out your pages and your posts and you've added your media, all of that stays the same, but you can simply refresh the entire thing by adding a new theme. And the trick of course, is to figure out what each of these themes do, how they lay out and what the options are. And so that's what becomes fun in terms of creating these particular pieces. So here I've got my course homepage and I'm going to jump over to my post page to take a look at what that looks like. And notice here, this is very different looking. Um, notice that um, it has taken my featured images across the top here and kind of made them look different than all of my other uh, posts in there, which is kind of fun. So now I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to customize. And again, I am now on the textbook um, theme. Over here, of course, is a preview. And I'm going to just take you through these very quickly. There's nothing different here that uh, we haven't seen before. Colors and background. Notice here that the default is this kind of beige. Notice here you also do not have the option to choose your own specific color. Rather, you can choose a palette and then take a look at what that's going to do for you. Um, it just basically changes the course, uh, the uh, content of your, um, excuse me, the color of your pages. Um, so here, if I go with this dark piece here, my pages and posts both reflect that dark combination. So I'm going to stay with that for the moment. I'm going to go ahead and click on save and publish. And I'm going to come back over here and reload my page and notice the entire thing has now gone dark. And if I go to course home, that's dark as well. The downside to themes um, is that you can't customize these per page, not without getting into some heavy duty coding and going to the professional level of wordpress.com or another WordPress install. But for our purposes, just playing around with the, uh, the uh, themes is um, the theme options is is plenty. So I'm going to just again play with those colors, and here's a different color combination, and here's my post page. And again, I've got two posts that are set as um, featured, and that's why they're popping to the top. So a variety of different kinds of things that I can do in terms of colors there. Um, fonts, we have gone over fonts uh, previously. I'm going to go ahead and choose a couple of different fonts here um, for my heading. And I'm going to choose um, a uh, sans serif font for my um, base font. N noticing, of course, here's my base font over here. That's a sample of that. Noticing that, of course, um, I want to go for maximum readability. I'm going to back out of that and I'm going to actually just because um, this is going to be a little bit different, I'm going to come over here and look at my course homepage one more time. I'm going to go to my header image 
And because I've kind of got a beigey background here, I'm going to choose this black and white photo. Now, I've played with this in preparation for this work, but notice that as soon as I put it on there, it takes up a good chunk of the top, which is a very popular design mechanism these days. So if you're interested in this kind of look, this is a theme that would be great at doing that. I'm going to go ahead and save and publish and I'm going to reload. Notice here though on the pages that it only has it in the top portion of it, but it's kind of soft and, and faded into the background, which is kind of cool. If I go over to my post pages where you're really going to see that large featured image up here, excuse me, this is the large header image up here, and that um, looks somewhat sophisticated, so that's a lot of fun to play with. I'm going to come out of here. Menus is um, exactly what we've dealt with before, so I'm not going to explain that too much here. My content options, again, I don't have as many as I had under other themes, but similar concept there. Widgets, again, the same thing, static, uh, static front page. And featured content, I've already got that label featured in here per my earlier uh, content pieces here. Now, the only other thing that I want to show you, and this is kind of uh, fun, I haven't played with this uh, myself as much, so I'm being truthful in terms of just kind of doing this on the fly, but I want to show you this space called testimonials and this space called um, featured content title. So if I were to do this, notice over here, um, particularly under my posts page, which is where I am right now, I see this large image here and um, I'm going to be fairly verbose in terms of saying my main title. Notice that as soon as I did that, that appeared right there. Notice here that I can add a description and notice that it appears on this uh, main area here. And um, I'm going to go ahead and click on save and publish. And then I'm going to come over here and reload this. And here you can see that particular main title. That's for this particular image I'm assuming up here. And then here are my featured images. So this is a quick overview of the theme called textbook. For your particular assignment, you're going to apply this theme, play with its colors, play with its featured images, excuse me, its header images, and um, generally play with the variety of different types of things. And as per your instructional design um, directions, you're going to do a pre um, screenshot and then you're going to do a post screenshot. And of course, if you happen to like this particular layout and design, you may keep this for your midterm submission. Talk to you later.